On the video I did uh, about the Boxford indexing, uh, the morphing of a tool, uh, I got asked a question about is there such a one for the Mavi Super 7. Now, I have got a drive handle using these bits, I'll run through in a minute. Uh, this will do uh, your depth stop and your drive handle. Um, this wasn't made for the indexing, now it's morphed into that. Uh, and I've got a few ideas bouncing around in my head yet, so we might come up with an idea for the indexing, not sure. Um, but for the moment, I'll show you how this works on the Mafia Super 7. So how this works is, this is a, an old uh, Morris Taper 2, 10mm drawbar on it. It was, uh, I think it was one of those blanks you can get, or a matter machine down for something else, not sure. So all that is, so it's just that. We put it in the headstock, uh, used the draw bear and drilled it and tapped it for an M6 bolt and a nut. So as I said, that, that bobs in. <clears throat> the draw bear is just a simple piece of 10mm threaded rod. and just made this little adapter, little bush that goes in to the end of the spindle. And that just stops you, you know, your M10 rattling around all over the place. So I said that just screws in. And then you take your adapter bush, goes into your spindle. Wash your nut. And that just pulls. Tighten that up with a spanner and that just pulls, draws you, your two more taper centre, if you will, into the headstock. So that's in there. You can now replace your chuck. Tighten it back up. <coughs> Excuse me. Using the method we showed in the other video with the piece of X bar, but just for this demonstration, I'll just do it like that on tight. So, in there now, I'll show you close in a minute. You've got a little um, M6 bolt. I've machined the end off, and so you can use that now as your, your depth stop, putting all your parts repeatedly in the chuck. To adjust the depth of the parts uh, held in the chuck, you simply just use a spanner to unlock this first nut, adjust your bolt to whatever depth you need your part to be, obviously with your chuck, chuck in place, uh, and then just lock it back up again. So this also doubles up. Uh, it also gives you a drive handle, um, so the draw bar is replaced with this drive handle. Again, piece of M10 threaded bar. What I've done, I've turned it down at the end, threaded it M8 to take a 13mm nut because this is a double ratchet in spanner that's 13mm and 10 and this bit of bar has been turned down to 6 6mm um, so you'll see when you put it on the, the headstock it's actually a drive on you can either use it round and round I'll show you in a second or you can just ratchet a bit at a time so I'll show you installing that now so you use the same adapter we made, slides onto there, which comes down to the end where your ratchet handle is. We're back in the same and locates in the back of your Mars taper. Obviously you can use your spanner now to tighten that up. Oh, it's just popped out, let's push it back in. There you go, it's gone tight. Usually what I do, for this time I have another nut, oh this nut here actually, I have another nut on the that tighten down and that draws it obviously into the draw bar. And the good thing is with the ratchet handle, like I said, you can use it and just drive your chuck around or you can actually just ratchet. A little bit at a time, just work your, your 
to work through however you want. Well, I hope you found that useful. Uh, like I said, just a couple of, couple of simple bits, uh, made up a bit of threaded rod and a racing spanner. Um, we've got ourselves a drive handle and a depth stop in one. So, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you don't mind liking and subscribing to the channel. Until next time, YouTubers, it'll be great.